days into the job, the vice president decided to go to West Virginia local news and put pressure on Manchin to vote for Joe Biden's proposed $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill, ignoring the fact that it's an R plus 19 state that Donald Trump won handily twice, Harris thought that she could seemingly convince Manchin by bullying him in his own backyard. And of course, we have to remember, we've already spent $4 trillion on the coronavirus. And states like Florida and South Dakota have shown that they can reopen schools and keep their unemployment low. It is the blue states that are being held hostage by the teachers unions that are needing more federal funds. And of course, Manchin did not take nicely to this. Now, Biden had to finally sit down with Republicans who are pointing out that giving checks to people making six figures of almost a year into this pandemic makes no sense. That subsidizing teachers unions that have no intention of going back to school makes no sense. That a $15 minimum wage during a pandemic when we just need people to get into workplaces, not punishing small businesses, makes no sense. Yes, for at the very minimum, the next two years, Manchin is the most important Joe in the Senate. Republicans managed to deal with Susan Collins and we reelected her handily. If Democrats can't do anything but complain about Manchin, why won't he help out the right?